to this gay shit. But hey, at least I know now. My girls. And you know what's weird is now like this chick just reminds me with her haircut, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Uraraka from My Hero Academia. But I don't it's fine. I completely forgot that I was doing a voice for like the narrating of her inner voice. <laughs> Shrugging. I put away the journal and smirk. This place as it might be. Her cheeriness is a good mix up from the norm. From the norm? From the norm. I love to mumble. Do you love to mumble? I love to mumble. And I yell at my brother for mumbling all the time. But I mumble. Do you think the treasure might be there? Cause I just I love to be a contradiction. Apparently. Don't know. But it's worth a shot. We don't have anything else to go on. Sure you don't want me to just take you home? <laughs> take my home. I don't know. I was gonna break into song, but then I realized did not know what I was singing at all. Marina hesitates for a moment, turning to the windshield as if to dodge the question with her eyes. That's me whenever I talk to anyone. No, I think I want to do this. I think I want to go on a treasure hunt <laughs> with a hot lady. I see. All right then. Let's go. I put the car in drive and look ahead. The sun has set, the blue shade of dusk rising up to take its place. I press down on the gas. Marina turns to me and smiles. Let's hit the road. Yeet. The sun has long since set and driven way to darkness. Only my headlights remain, illuminating the road and silhouetting the small rock formations around us. I've been alternating between the old tape and new ones, immediately throwing out the old tape after finishing the new one and vice versa. Haven't had any complaints from Marina. She's been sitting at my side the entire time, softly humming off key to the music. Now, I, I can sense that like Marina kind of brings like bad luck. I don't know. Just, just like leaves a trail of unfor misfortune and destruction wherever she goes. So I'm gonna need. Marina not to, like, unconsciously just <laughs> explode the van. She seems to be the type to just accept things as they are, like with her car being stolen or that treasure. I've never, never, I've never met a Marina in my life, but I feel like it would kind of drive me crazy if, like, my car was stolen. I'd be like, or, like, if my friend's car was stolen, or whatever, and they were just like, ah, it's fine. I'd be like, why don't you care? <laughs> Especially that treasure. And to make it worse, it's not just her. Apparently, it's some phenomenon now. Goes to show how much I keep up with current events. <laughs> Shit, it's me. Fuck. <laughs> I literally was just saying about how, like, I've fallen out so much when it comes to, like, keeping up with politics and, like, whatever else is happening in the world. Like, now we have, like, this pandemic <laughs> happening, and I'm just, like, very rarely actually, like, watching information on it. I'll just, like, ask a co-worker or something. I apparently can't be bothered to look up the information myself. But the whole thing smells like a scam. I agree. I bet somewhere all big shots from that publishing house are gathered up in their corporate house- corporate house? Their corporate tower laughing at the idiots they've ripped off with that book. You know what? She knows what's up. Christ, I'm even starting to sound like him. 
The music turns to static before the cassette is silenced by a loud click. I eject it and reach for his old tape again. Marina notices, taking the opportunity to break the long-held sil silence. <laughs> so, do you like music a lot? Who doesn't, girl? Oh, um, yeah, I guess. I figured. You've been playing those tapes this entire time. <laughs> she picks up one of the tapes on the center console and inspects it going as far as to poke her pinky through one of the holes. <laughs> you know what? I've done that. Though, I'm not sure what you call this type of music. Oh, you're going to be insulted, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I've just been playing whatever. Mostly jazz fusion and alt country. Ugh. Threw in some new age crap in there for good measure. Country, no! <gasps> it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these are mixtapes I made when I was little. Cool. Any names I'd recognize? I don't know. We've been listening to them for probably hours. You didn't recognize any of them? Then you probably wouldn't recognize any of the names. Just saying. She peeks at me through the holes of the cassette, wearing a wide, genuine smile. Sounds like probably something she not. would do. Aw, come on. Try me! Try me, bitch! Eh, why not? Maybe I'm not giving her enough credit. No, I think you're giving her just enough. You know, Gabriel, Gertu, Weather Report, Donovan, Metheny. We have a JoJo reference weather report. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I literally do not know any of these names aside from Weather Report, and that's only because of JoJo's. Marina gives sage-like nods and grunts of understanding as I list off the names. You have no idea who any of them are, do you? Not a clue. That's what I thought. Sorry. I usually listen to whatever's on the radio. You know what? I was the same way before I had Bluetooth in my car. I crack a slight smile. It's alright. I could see how it might be hard to get into. My gramps used to call it road trip music. I still think it's nice, though. It's making you really happy. You think so? She taps her finger gently against my cheek. I pull away a little, but I learned to do it anyway. The flirting! <laughs> yeah, why else would you be smiling? I've never really thought of wh whether it made me happy before, but I do know it made him happy, so that's good enough for me. That's actually why I'm going to California. You know, for a music festival. Are you- I usually don't- I have no idea where Coachella's held, but I was gonna make a, like, a whole joke of being like, Are you going to Coachella? <laughs> I- and then I was thinking about it, and I'm like, Where even the fuck is Coachella held? It, is it held in a, a place- the, the same place every year? Say different places? I don't know. I don't care. It's- I never- The closest thing to a music festival I've been to is- Oh fuck, what was it called? The fucking- No, no, I don't remember! God damn it! It's the, the rock. Rock music. Thing, or when I used to be into rock music when I was younger, it was just book a bunch of rock bands and shit. No, I don't remember what it's called, so that's great. <laughs> that For bit real? just ruined. Where? Not far from Palm Springs. Palm Springs? Like the actual Palm Springs? Don't know if there are any other Palm Springs in California, but yeah, they do it every year for a few weekends. Wow. Multiple weekends? That's crazy. I went to my first concert a little before I graduated. <laughs> she rests her head against the window and stares at the road ahead. Her smile fading, but still there. It was so much fun. An entire weekend of that sounds super awesome. Nah, it ain't that cool. So why are you going then? Marina frings her head away from the window and turns to me. 
Now she's staring at me like I'm crazy. How could you even say that? It's the coolest thing ever! I wouldn't even be able to wait. I'd want to see all the bands. Sheesh, relax. It's not like I'm taking it for granted. It's just that there's only one group I know I want to see so far. That's right. His favorite group. Just one? He was so excited when he got the tickets. Just one that I'm excited for. I'll watch a bunch, though. Releasing alongside Marisa- Marisa? <laughs> Marina eases back into sleep. Oh, good. I was afraid you were going to head home after you saw your group. You crazy? I'd like to at least have a little fun before worrying about all the expenses I gotta deal with. Expenses? You know, like money. The, the stuff that, you know, it, it costs money to do anything. Almost breathe at this point. Damn it. Uh, it's nothing. It is nothing. She gasps. <gasps> Are you in debt? Is it college loans? My brother said those aren't fun to deal with at all. No, they're awful. <laughs> I just paid mine off, but yeah, they're awful. Got too comfortable. Should have just kept my trap shit. Or did you just spend too much on your tick? Whoop! Without warning, I swerve off to the side of the road and on to the rocky sand, cutting Marina off and nearly giving her a heart attack. I don't know why that just reading that just made me pause a little bit. I'm like, I'm going to go into slow motion now. Marina shoots me with a worried glance, her face still pale. Oh my god! What was that? Are you okay? I pinch the bridge of my nose and my elbow is on the wheel. Amber! I've been driving all day. I'm a little tired. Where are we? A little outside Albuquerque, so we aren't too far now. We'll sleep here tonight. And drive to Shiprock first thing in the morning. You gonna share a bed? <laughs> Killing the ignition, I climb out of my seat and into the living quarters. Marina trails behind me. I yank open the bathroom's Velcro latched cupboards. That's weird. Inside is a folded stack with a pillow sheet. A, a pillow? A blanket sheet pillow! In my old gym clothes from school, I scoop them up and toss them to Marina. She scrambled to catch it, desperately balancing them as they lean out her as they lean out of her arms. I can read. I have a degree. A bachelor's degree. Yeah. Sorry about the clothes. <laughs> I don't have any actual pajamas. You can sleep on the couch. It folds out into a bed. Okay. All right then. See you in the morning. The mood. Just. With that, I step into the back room and slam the sliding door before collapsing onto the oversized bed. Even in the darkest, darkest, even in the darkness, I can make out the pictures hanging on the wall. Once upon a time, they were generic, scenic pieces. Now they're photos, photos of me and Gramps. My favorite is the one of us in front of a museum for music. Rock and roll to be specific. A little pipsqueak back then holding up an autographed vinyl sleeve that was about the size of my head. He was by my side squatting down and ruffling my hair as I gave the biggest smile I could, even with my missing teeth. I let out a sigh and fixate on the ceiling skylight, a small sliver of the moonlight shining through. The art is so fucking cute! Feels like an eternity since I've last laid down in this bed. I remember it felt like being hugged by a cloud. Now it feels like concrete. Tiny creaks sound from the next room door. From the next room door from the room next door. You know, I just love reading things out of order, apparently. Accompanied by Marina's little squeaks of determination as she struggles with the fold-out bed until finally I hear a loud thud. <laughs> I can't help but smirk a little. I should have warned her that it was heavy. 
the room <laughs> the room over goes silent. I hope it didn't crush her. <laughs> Luckily, I soon hear footsteps tiptoeing across the carpet, then on the bathroom tile. They stop outside my door. Hey, are you awake? Her voice is weak, barely above a whisper. It's almost impossible to hear as it's muffled through the door. I know I've said it a lot already, but I really mean it. Thanks, Amber. Good night. Good night, Daryl! I continue to stay silent. In the dark, the ceiling looks like it's constantly changing its size and dimensions, sometimes getting bigger and further away, other times getting closer and smaller. I look down. Through the crack of the door, I can see her shadow turning around to leave. The words slip out of my mouth before she can even take her first step. Night, kiddo. Is that just the beginning? Wait. <laughs> Night, kiddo. I feel like I just skipped through something, so I'm just gonna <laughs> skirt that back. Or maybe I missed nothing. <laughs> Most people imagine Indian reservations as tucked away slices of heaven. Maybe some pocketed oasis of vibrant greens and flowing water in what is otherwise a wasteland. Those people are wrong. The Navajo reservation is as sandy and barren as the rest of the desert. And at 22,475 miles, it's neither green nor fun-sized. Not that I hate it. The miles of faded highway road speed past me, blending together with the sand that stretches out to far off rigid mountains. Like there's a rhythm to it all. Behind me, Marina is still stretched out on the fold-out bed, cuddling the pillow, a substitute for her blanket that's long since fallen off her bed. My old gym clothes are a little small for her. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> I'm disgusting. I am also very gay. <laughs> the shorts only reaching halfway down her thighs. But hey, I'm not complaining. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Neither am I. If you know. So we're rolling into town. It's jagged namesake peeking over the horizon. Shiprock. The town itself is typical for this desert, nothing fancy like a high-rise. Just a whole lot of plain shacks sitting on top of gravel, painted worn browns and beiges. From behind me there's a light, almost fluffy on. I wonder how that bundle of joy handles mornings. Morning. Let me see the gym clothes! Oh hi, you're finally awake. Uh -huh. Sounds like me. She yawns again and thumps back against the bed. I guess she's not a morning person. And there's still some coffee in the. Oh wow, is that shiprock? Whoa, girl. I honestly thought she would. She was gonna be like coffee. That would have been me. I'd be like, bitch, pour that shit in my mouth immediately. <laughs> I take it back. Marina rushes behind me and grabs the back of the seats, her eyes sparkling. It's huge! I can't believe we can see it from so far away! On closer inspection, my clothes are way too tight for her. My poor shirt is being stretched to its limit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, this doesn't seem to bother her at all. I don't know if I'm more embarrassed for myself or for her. Well, we have to get moving now, so go get dressed or whatever. Ah, uh, sure thing. She scampers off to the back, finally giving me room to breathe as I make my way to the driver's seat. Until I accidentally glance at the rearview mirror! <gasps> Oh shit. Ah! Bitch. 
Let's go. Wait. In the middle of the motorhome, Marina slips out of her pajamas and into her regular clothes. Jeez, there's a bathroom. The bathroom is right there. I adjust the mirror and try my hardest to stay focused on anything else I can look at. You... You know what? I... I was gonna say you're a better person than me, but at the same time... I... I I'm like sounding like a, a disgusting person. I wouldn't actually... I wouldn't actually do that. I would look away. Cause... I'm not- I'm, I'm acting like I'm actually that gross in real life. I'm not. I... Unless I know that the person wants me to look at them like that, I would not. Okay? I just- I don't know if I already read this. <laughs> I adjust the mirror and try my hardest to stay focused on anything else I can look at. Fully dressed, Marina props back. Uh, props? Marina pops back up beside me and settles in the passenger seat. The desolate road continues until suddenly, as if out of nowhere, we're greeted by a line of cars, RVs, buses, and every other kind of vehicle under this blazing sun, all lumped together, stacked on one top of the other, side by side, and every single one blasting their horns. What the? Whoa, you think this is because of the treasure? I mean, why else would everyone gather in the desert in huge quantities unless you're at Coachella? <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to make this Coachella joke work, but... I grip my teeth and flop back in my seat. I can only pray these are tourists, and I was the only one dumb enough to humor this scam. We're soon assimilated into the traffic jam. Slowly, the motorhome inches forward, but when we finally reach the front, a whole new monster awaits us. Laid out on the dirt, barely in the shadow of the looming mountain, is a giant cluster that can only be described as such. Campers, tents, tarps, booths, you name it. A chaotic horde of people crowd around the entire under... A chaotic horde of people crowd around the entire unorganized mess. Hey. I cringe at the very sight of it. I'm in hell. <laughs> Marina pushes her face against the window, in awe of the sheer insanity. I don't think I've seen this many people since the concert. Oh god, she's going to break from the overstimulation. A cry of horn serenade us from behind. Groaning, I pull forward and squeeze the motorhome into the nearest available space. Stuff tightly between everything else. Backing out is gonna be a real pain. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find that treasure. All right. Marina sits up and nearly leaps out of the car, but I grab her wrist and pull her back into her seat. Just hold on a second. Her enthusiasm fades. Oh, that's right. You were only going to drop me off and leave. That's right. It's been a while since I played this, obviously, so I do not remember what happened before. Sorry, but I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. F for real? She starts sniffling. You're so nice to me, Amber. I, I think I might cry. It's just for the booty, though. Hold it in. <laughs> we gotta think of a game plan just first. Kidding. Marina returns to her usual happy-go-lucky self, while I grimace at the chaos outside. If I suspend my disbelief and assume the treasure is real, where would we even start? We don't even have any equipment. I guess we may as well start by checking out the place. I'm the first to make my way out into the sea, people. My nose is salted with smells of campfires and B.O. masted in suntan lotion. It smells like tourists, alright? Rena finishes her run around the motorhome and huddles close to me. Her eyes still s wide with wonder, but far less gung-ho than before. 
The two of us make our way through the map. Makeshift campground following a guardrail that's been set up to separate the visitors from the rock. All the while, we pass different scenes staring all sorts of people. <sighs> staring? Starring. Wow. A newsacre elbowing nosy hecklers out of the way while she tries to report. Men on top of motorhomes and long shows, strumming away on the guitars. That sounds like a fucking vibe. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. Just checking my phone, sorry. Even vendors have set up shop here, selling over ripened fruit from their booths. Marina is speechless, looking on in overwhelmed curiosity and hovering so close I can... I keep tripping over her. I'm half expecting her to grab onto one of my belt loops. I'm surprised. I pegged her to be pretty good with crowds. Please stay behind uh, the guardrail! I repeat! I've please been assaulted! Stay behind the guardrail! My ears! Wait. Uh, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> A booming voice shouts over the crackling of a megaphone pushing through the crowd. We're shoved into a part of that, the crowd that's mobbing by an opening of a guardrail. They're barbed from advancing by a lone man, standing on top of a folding chair, clutching the megaphone like a shotgun. Stay behind the guardrail! Please be considerate of Navajo land! This man's got the right idea. It's like, fuck off, you dumb bitches. People live here. Not sure. I think. I mean, it's just trying to like, be like, yo, this is Navajo land, fuck off. <laughs> the sun reflects off of the truck behind it. I squint my eyes at the word printed on its side. Navajo Parks and Recreation. Yeah, could have guessed man? as much. The man. The man. Uh, never <gasps> mind. The rentless cloud ignores him, ramming into each other as they fling whole dictionaries worth of profanity at him. This could get nasty. Maybe they're moshing. People did that at the concert. <laughs> Maybe they're just moshing. It's fine with no fucking music aside from some. Dudes with guitars. Just what the hell kind of concert did you go to anyway? Wait a second. In the back of the mosh, distant from the calamity, is a familiar sight. Blonde hair intertwined and running through a dark red bandana. Okay. What's wrong? Remember that loud chick from the gas station? A little. I was too busy with my slushy to really notice. Why? I think we just found our first lead. She here, boys! The voice trails off and I start towards the girl, pushing my way through the crowd. Hey, Amber! Wait! Putting on my person mask, I take a breath and place my hand on her shoulder with a forced smile. For the last time, old man, I don't have any! Any what? Huh? She whips around, her eyes prepared for murder, but her features switch to standby mode as she realizes her mistake. Oh. You really thought this lady's hand- oh well, she probably didn't feel it through the fucking her jacket. Uh, sorry, but didn't I see you at that convenience store yesterday? Oh yeah, that dump. Outside of Roswell, right? Why you gotta be so mean? <laughs> yep. That was us. I'm Amber. Marina waves and I extend my hand. The girl's eyes narrow, but she eventually shakes it with a surprisingly strong grip. Mariah. Everyone here for the treasure? And they'd be idiots if they weren't. Hey, what do you know? You were right, Amber. <laughs> I like how Amber's like, all these people are idiots, and then Mariah's like, 
You'd be idiots if you weren't here for the fucking treasure. <laughs> Call them. Say that like it's a good thing. You guys here for the gold too? Not sure why else somebody would come out. She looks over the scenery and wrinkles her nose. To this place. What? Am I like? I. I do not remember. If last time her voice, I don't know. I I I don't know if I if I noticed her accent before, but she is like this Brooklyn accent. Some maybe I think something like that. And the ray of sunshine next to me is looking for the gold. I'm just the ride. Step away from the gold rail. You're all getting out of hand. I don't think they're gonna step away from the guardrail unless you threaten them with uh, being arrested. That's usually how people work. <laughs> the horde presses in. The yelling crowds. The yelling grows louder. Huh. You aren't getting through, so I don't even know why. Oh shit! A can of beer flies through the air, cracks him on the forehead, the liquid running down his face. Oh, what is this, a Justin Bieber concert? Um... Navajo Parks and Recreation. They are trying to keep well-meaning treasure hunters from carving up the rock because of its religious significance. Why? Mariah, I remember last time I was kind of defending you, being like, eh, she's kind of, kind of a dick, but, you know, maybe she's having a bad day, but, you know, listen, if something has some religious significance to it, like a, a fucking landmark with the, the fucking land, nature, leave it at the fuck alone. <laughs> just, just don't fuck with it, man. Like, let people live their lives. <laughs> you don't gotta be all mocking about it and shit. Doesn't surprise me. This is a four corner state, so there's lots of stuff like that out here. I think it's sweet that they're trying to protect big old Shippy. Mariah stares at her as if questioning her entire existence. <sighs> yeah. But it's a rock. So? It's a core rock. Shut up. It's only good for postcards and carving big monuments. Why is it such a big deal if people want to look for treasure up there? Well, maybe well, I'm... it's not gonna make much of a difference either way. Maybe I'm, like, getting her accent wrong. For, like, a few lines there, it sounded like she had some sort of Brooklyn accent. I don't know why. It's... <laughs> maybe it's changing on me. I don't know. Why is that? You a non-believer? Shun the non-believer. I'm sorry. Just throwing out dead memes here. No, I'm just not a sucker. It's not very nice, Amber. <laughs> Miranda's like, you calling me a sucker? <laughs> I liked you. Well, it's true. It's obvious that this is just an elaborate scam and everyone got ripped off. It's an elaborate ruse. Before I finish my sentence, a cocky, overgrown smile makes its way onto Mariah's face, oozing with snide confidence. What if I told you I could prove the treasure is real? I'd say you're full of it. Bullshit. She Does calls the bullshit. Real? Like, honest to goodness, real? Really, really real? <laughs> Overwhelmed with the excitement, Marina springs up and down. Marina. Blech. Oh, why? While Mariah gives a smug nod. Maria, Mariah. There's too many Mars around here. Mm-hmm. And just yeah, separate right. these Mars. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I said I could prove it, didn't I? Give it a treasure exactly beach. Are you gonna do that? Come back to my base full of highly trained elite treasure hunters. Then I'll show you. Why do you just have treasure hunters? with you. 
Like, I mean, obviously, because you're going to hunt treasure, but, like, did you hire them specifically for this? This particular situation? Or did you just know? Did you just know them? <laughs> Beforehand. And you're just like, hey! Elite what now? <laughs> Highly trained elite oh. treasure hunters. <laughs> they fucking did it. It's the fucking zoom. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Thanks, but no thanks. We'll pass. What? But why? You're breaking oh, Mariah. Time. Marina's heart here, Amber. You're breaking a poor, poor delicate heart. <laughs> you said we needed a game plan, right? This is the best chance we have right now. True. A terrifying amount of determination emanates from her. She enforces an unwavering stare on me. Honestly, I just joined them just to appease her. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, what else are you gonna do? <clears throat> her gaze intensifies. I look down at my dusty shoes and finally give in. Jeez, if it'll make you that happy, I'll do it. She's really damn determined. I give her that much. I'm not sure I could have said no. But this better be legit, you hear? This better be legit, you hear? <laughs> I'm coming for my money. See? A point to Mariah. I'm not in the mood to be jerked around today. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep my word. Hey! Stop it! <gasps> I look back to the crowd. The guardrails have toppled over and the crowd surged towards the man. You really think? I just, it's, not much can stop a crowd of people, I'm honestly. You, I have a megaphone! you should have a police officer, because that is literally the only thing that could possibly stop a mob. The crowd circles in around the chair and topples it over, and the man crashing down with it. We should. Probably scram. Way ahead of you. Sleek and lavish, Mariah's motorhome is like a mansion on wheels. Its chromy black paint is so fresh that you can practically smell the primer. Yo, that sounds pretty sexy. Here we are. Base, sweet base. She throws the door open. Joe, Tess, buck up. We have guests. Marina. And I shoot each other. <laughs> I don't know why that paused me. <laughs> An unsure glance, then enter the motorhome. Oh, Ooh, hey. bitch! Did you finally manage to make some friends? Ooh, that is a nice place. We got some Bob Marley in the back. You know what? She might be a bitch, but she got good taste in music, though. Oh, hey, did you finally manage to make some friends? Oh, he already said that shit. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Blow it out your ass, slacker. It's just as big and expensive. Expansive. <laughs> On the inside, making my RV look like a toilet in comparison. It's definitely a luxury class, unlike my Class C. Or at least... It would be a luxury motorhome, if not for the seemingly random decor. The wall is littered with posters of ska bands. The what?! How dare you! <laughs> the worst genre of music, apparently, according to, uh, Amber over here. Even weirder are the license plates scattered everywhere. I was- you know what, not gonna lie, I was gonna say, that's a cool touch of having the license place. Just saying, uh, and I kinda caught, thought it was cool that they were in, like a wind chime type thing. But, you know, Amber thinks it's weird, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> didn't like it that much anyway. Some in boxes, some on the table, and some strung together like a wind chime. Which I thought was cool. MB bag in the corner and empty bottles of empty beer and liqueur cast off on the ground. The place <laughs> looks more like a frat pad than a base. I 
fucking dig it, Amber. Shut up. An impression further aided by the guy sprawled out on the couch, his head wrapped in a bandana like Mariah's. Someone's feisty today. No luck with the treasure, I take it? Yeah, no thanks to you. Hey now, me and Tess were holding down the fort. That's a very important job. He gestures at the cop above him, a hollow space under some cabinets. It looks like a row of cupboards used to be there and were stripped out to make a room for, to make room for it. Lying on top of it is a little girl facing the other direction, fiddling with something I can't make out. She's wearing another identical bandana. Isn't that right, Tess? Are you guys together? This is weird. <sighs> I don't know why, but I, I, I didn't see her. <laughs> I saw her as another lesbian. I don't know why I saw her as a lesbian for, but maybe, <laughs> am I just like, I, I hear that the two main characters are, or at least one of them is apparently a lesbian and then I just identify as all women in this game as lesbians for some reason. I just, I don't have, I don't have enough lesbians in my life. I'm the, I'm the only lesbian I know, god damn it. Very lonely. <laughs> Tess gives a barely existent nod and continues tinkering. See, what did I tell you? Has she been like this the entire time? Yep. She hasn't moved since you left this morning. It's kind of sad. Please. Don't think I haven't noticed you were on that couch when I left. Guilty as charged. <clears throat> I clear my throat, reminding them of our presence. All oh, right. This is my team. Two people? You made it sound like there was like five people. And one of them's a fucking child. I'm very confused. The lug who's become one with the couch is Joseph. And the squirt is my kid sister, Tess. Oh, it's her kid sister! I understand, but at the same time, <laughs> why are you saying your little sister is like, that like looks like she's 10, uh, is a expert treasure hunter? I'm just curious and interested, honestly, uh, as to this child genius. Hello, Tess, this is Alyssa and Melina. What? Amber and Marina. <laughs> like, excuse me? <laughs> Whatever. She, she got the basic feel right. They are looking for the treasure too. Hey there, ladies. I can only hope the highly trained elite team are hidden in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, I'm Marina. It's really nice to meet you. Marina jumps in front of me, taking hold of the conversation by its throat. Wow, that was very aggressive. The other girl is Amber. Say hi, Amber. The fuck? <laughs> hi. Don't mind her. <laughs> She's just grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> you sound pretty grumpy to me. I groan and start muttering nonsense under my breath. Didn't think being a realist would make me grumpy. She doesn't think the treasure exists. Uh-oh. Mariah, we've got a non-believer in our midst. <laughs> Why do they keep saying that? Why do you think I brought her here? If you think you'll be able to convince me that this treasure is real, then fine. But you have another thing coming. Like what? Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Back in my motorhome. <laughs> I can take you and your sense of adventure back to Carlsbad if you want. <laughs> no thanks. Carlsbad? California? New Mexico. Rolling her eyes, Mariah walks over to a drawer. From inside, she pulls out something wrapped in cloth and brings it over to me. Go ahead. Take a peek. <laughs> her smirk reappears curling across her face as if it were this were a game and there's no way she could lose. Hesitant, I bring my hand to the rag and unwrap it. What? No way. Is this? That's right. Lying swaddles in the cloth is a yellow nugget. 
I give it a squeeze. It's soft. Definitely not a piece of pirate. It's gold! But how? You know the miner who had the treasure? That's Joseph's great great uncle. You're lying. I can testify for that. It's true. This thing is a family heirloom. More like it was lying forgotten in my basement until we stumbled across it as kids. After that, I heard great tales of the miner and his hidden treasure. She went to the library and found old newspaper clippings making fun of them. Then I made it my life's goal to find this treasure. I her I don't know what it is about her voice, man. It's just a little bit all over the place and kind of weirds me out. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just her personality with the. I, She's been obsessed I'm gonna with shut it up. ever since. Hell. That's a load. I saw you at the store yesterday. If you knew so much about the treasure, then why did you have to buy one of those journals? Another side of my family probably got the journal after he kicked it. We didn't hear about it until everyone else did. This doesn't prove anything. Mariah shoots me a scowl. Similar to the look she gave to the clerk yesterday. What are you trying to say? Sis. Sister! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tess finally moves, hopping down from her cot. Another license plate wind chime in her hand. The plate's clanking together as she runs over to Mariah. Sis, I finished it. What the f- Fuck kind of demon child is this? She has no emotions. Her eyes are dead. It's like she has no soul. Well, I guess I did just say soulless. I think. God. <laughs> she, yeah, she says this without a hint of emotion, her eyes in a constant half-open state. It's kind of unsettling. I agree. How many is that now? Uh, 44? Oh my god. Are you gonna sell them? Fuck. Five. Marina bends down to Tessa's level and greets her. Oh, are you collecting license plates? Uh-huh. I only have five more until I have all 50 states. She, like, imagine she, like, goes up to different cars, like, and, like, just yeet the angst off her, their fucking license plates and skirts away. No one has the heart to go after her because she's a fucking child. In what state do you have there? New Mexico. Her voice and expir- Expiration. Expiration. Expression. Expression. Hey, hey. Her voice and expression don't change. Still as dry as the desert air. <laughs> Mariah scoffs. At least yesterday wasn't a complete waste of time. That junker was a piece of crap. Wait a second. All the parts were rustier than my ass. Even the scrap metal wasn't worth it. I like how she's calling her ass rusty. <laughs> you know what? We love self-deprecation jokes in this house. Just be thankful we found it. We'd be busted if I hadn't salvaged the good bits. Besides, that money is going to keep us from starving. I look at Marina. But she doesn't seem to have put it together. Uh, about that car you found, that wasn't oh! Roswell, was I it? I hadn't- I hadn't put it together either. <laughs> uh! Marina's eyes go wide, realization finally penetrating her skull. Yeah, not too far from the store. What do you care? Oof, I can feel my blood begin to boil. Marina can feel it too. Amber? Every part of me is shaking. I struggle to spit out the words. Her car was stolen outside of Roswell yesterday. It was out of gas, so we went to get some. Joseph is the next to realize it, followed by Tess. Oh, crap. So? <laughs> you just called her car crusty. Mino? Mino? What the fuck am I talking about? Oh my god. I wanna die. Ugh. I need to say meanie, but that also sounds disgusting coming from my mouth. I'm 28 years old. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't hold it in anymore. Sorry, Marina. So? 
You stole her car and dismantled it! Joseph jumps off the couch and, um, and apologetically bows repeatedly, all in once with motion. Each bow makes me a little bit angrier. Joey said it was okay. It Damn it, Joey! Ryan gave the go-ahead. You told them it was all right. Yeah, so it's your own fault for leaving it out there. How? How on earth is it our fault that it broke down? <laughs> I love how Marina is just like and Marina, Mariah, whoever the fuck. Uh, it's just like Psh, whatever. You left the fighters keepers, bitch. <laughs> you know. Finders keepers. Uh, how the fuck did I know that she was gonna it's do a that? Freaking car! Yeah, it's a, it a freaking car. Um. Test tugs on my shirt. What? Oh. <laughs> fuck. I don't mean to, but the words snap out of my mouth. The tiny girl shrinks away. All right, Amber, just calm down. We can talk this out. Here. She holds out the wind chime. Mayuno Marina's license play. Her eyes cast downward. Ah, it's so cute. That's so fucking cute. You're the only cute one here. I mean, aside from our two two girls, but you know, never mind. Calming down isn't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. A hand grasps my shoulder. I turn to Marina. Her, she shakes her head and smiles. Amber, it's okay. But, 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 mom. <laughs> really, it's fine. She bends down. <laughs> she bends back down to Tess and smiles reassuringly. You can go ahead and keep it, sweetie. The trio, Mar Mariah included, are taken back by Marina's saint-like reaction. I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Joseph breathes a sigh of relief, levitating slightly. Oh god, thank you so much. We're all really sorry about this. Right, Mariah? Yeah, I guess. Ugh! You're so insufferable. You're the- I- I fucking hate you. You know, I- I, I thought you were cute. You're just annoying. About as fed up with this as I am, just shoots her a glare and smacks her on the back of the head. Gib, gib, slap her. Right. I'm sorry and stuff. Marina, are you sure? They destroyed your car. Yeah, but it was pretty run down anyway. She did say it was crusty. <sighs> You're unreal, you know that? Anyway, we should head out now. We have a few things to take care of. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that was, uh, her brother's car. <laughs> I don't even think that was her car. I'm pretty sure that was her brother's. <laughs> God damn it. Thanks for showing us the gold. Now I'm sure the treasure's real. Completely forgetting that they dismantled her car. No problem, ladies. Again, really sorry for all the trouble. If there's anything we can do for you, just give us a shout. Can you get us the gold? Sure thing. Maybe. We have for the door, but Marina turns around before stepping outside. By the way, was there a phone in the car? <laughs> the pink heisei? The fuck is a heisei? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Uh, we kind of sold that too. God damn it, you fucking scavengers! It feels like the page is staring back at me. In fact, at this point, it probably is. My gaze drifts from the journal to the window by the entrance. Marina is outside, twirling the payphone's cord as she pops in another quarter. She bikes her lips and looks through the window. Our eyes meet. She sends me a small anxious wave. Closing the book, I let out a yawn and remove my head from my fist. I'm sure there's a red imprint on my cheek. 
figuring out we had to go to the ship rock was the easy part. Everything else has been a gigantic pain in the ass. There's a rush of precious cold air getting sucked from the building. Rena enters, carefully shutting the door and taking the seat opposite me in the booth. So how'd it go? It went fine, I guess. Your parents are okay with all of this? <laughs> Ooh, maybe not Weird okay. parents. Okay, maybe they're not weird. A smile creeps onto her face. But they understand. Okay, they are weird parents. <laughs> Mine would be like... I... They, they would be pissed. They would probably not talk to me for like a month. I mean, shit. I got a tattoo. My stepdad didn't talk to me for like two weeks, so... You know. <laughs> and then I moved out. <laughs> At least someone gets it. Because I still don't. They weren't happy about the car, though. Yeah, because it wasn't yours. It was your brother's. I think you were the only person who was. Yeah. How couldn't I be? Mariah showed us that the treasure is real. I mean... Realistically, if they do get the treasure, she can just buy another car. You're going to believe the people who stole your car? <laughs> it was an accident. They didn't mean to. <laughs> no, they perp they did mean to steal the car. They just didn't mean to steal your car. <laughs> they didn't know Besides, it was yours. They're nice. Uh <laughs> Two of them. Are nice. Before I can argue further, our waitress emerges from the kitchen, carrying our order. A hot black coffee for me, a milkshake for Marina, and a large order of fries for us both. I- you know what? I'm not surprised. Marina got a fucking milkshake! She's a child! At least could have been chocolate milkshake! God. Weirdo. <laughs> Marina's eyes brighten at the sight of the shake. Like with the slushy, her sweet tooth takes control of her, and she practically starts drooling over the glass. With a nod, the waitress disappears back into the kitchen. Thanks for the food, by the way. Well, it's not like I really had a choice. I could hear your stomach from the driver's seat. I wasn't about to let you starve to death on my watch. Plus, I was getting pretty hungry, too. Yeah, because then you have to deal with a body. That's very inconvenient. Amazingly, Marina didn't freak out at the sight of the diner, like she has at everything else so far. I was genuinely shocked when I didn't hear a gasp of awe escape her mouth as we pulled up. Hey, Amber, why don't you get a shake too? Coffee and fries don't really go together, don't you think? Coffee goes with everything. Shut up. I'm fine. I don't really like sweet things. But it's super good! Especially when you dip your fries in it. Oh, she would. She takes several of the fries and does just that, dipping them in the shake like it was ketchup or mustard. That's silly. I can do the same thing with my coffee. No! That is- how dare you disrespect coffee like that. Amber! Amber, I'm disappointed in you. Taking a fry and duck it into my coffee and take a bite out of it. Oh god, she actually does it. Now your coffee's going to be salty and greasy, weirdo. It makes sense for- okay, so now she realizes it was a bad idea. That was a bad idea! Yes, it was. That's weird. Like, it makes sense, kind of, with a milkshake. Because, you know, it's salty and sweet, you know, whatever. But, like, coffee? No. Bitter and sweet? Ugh. is saying I placed the rest of my fry on my napkin as try to cope with the cold chill and sulfury aftertaste. Yeah. Weirdo! Maybe it would work better if you put creamer in it? No, no. Just coffee and fries. Like you can you can have them together with a meal, but not simultaneously together in your mouth. Like 
You, you eat the food and then you drink the coffee. You don't mix them together. It's fucking weird. Ugh, somehow I doubt that. Besides, it would just ruin the coffee. Exactly! I don't know how you can even drink it without cream, or at least a little sugar. It's so bitter. <laughs> okay, you know, I... I do... I don't like to drink coffee without creamer. Uh, I don't put that much. But I have drinking coffee without creamer. Uh, just sugar. But that was because I ran out of creamer. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. You find flavor in the bitterness. You just gotta find it real deep. That's why I think it's weird that you drink something like that. How do you mean? I find that saying weird. I just like, what do you mean instead of how do you mean, but whatever. I don't know. Her brow furrows in deep thought. You always seem so... yes or no about stuff. If you like something, then you do. If you don't like something, then you don't. Isn't that how everyone is? You're losing me, Mare. Whoa! She has a nickname. What did Mom used to tell us when we didn't listen to her? Oh, yeah. Basically, you have a really thick head, Amber. I nearly spit the coffee out of my mouth. Gee, thanks. Or was it a thick skull? <laughs> Irrelevant. Whatever, you know what I mean, right? No, not really. I think so. Maybe. It wasn't really an acquired taste for me now that I think about it. Maybe I've always liked the bitterness. The bitterness of my soul! Maybe I just convinced myself that I did. I don't know. Is that a bad thing? Just like in Marina's RV. Marina sh- uh, hey. the, 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 the letters are too similar. Just like in Mariah's RV. Maria shakes her head and gives me a sweet, genuine smile. I don't think so. I actually really like it. It reminds me of Shiprock. A warm, tickling sensation bubbles up in my chest. It forces me to smile, but I play it off all cool and breezy-like. Trying to be smooth. So I remind you of a rock. You shouldn't say that kind of thing. People might think they're insults. Satisfied with how I played that off, I reach for a frying reward myself. But instead of hot, crispy goodness, something smooth brushes against my fingertips. I gaze down at the plate of fries. Marina's hand for a split second rests below mine. Ooh. We instinctively snap back. Marina's face is a bright shade of pink and mine is probably similar. S sorry <laughs> The romance is starting. I can feel it caught in the air tonight. Oh lord. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. <laughs> the room feels 10 degrees hotter. We try to reestablish eye contact, but our glances, our glances shoot off in other directions as soon as we meet. Hey, Amber? Yes. I managed to compose myself long enough to look back. You said something about bills and expenses last night, right? I don't know what exactly you meant by that, or what it is you have to pay off, but since we know the treasure is real now, I was wondering... Maybe you might think about sticking around to look with me? We could even split it? Or something? W well first off, we don't even know if the treasure is actually real. Mariah could be pulling our legs. My coffee is mostly gone. All that's left is a puddle and a few stray grounds. I'll think about it, though. Really? I only said I would think about it. Don't get too excited just yet. I won't, I won't. I just think it would be super cool. 
Marina flops her chin down and rests on the table. How's it going anyway? Have you figured out where the first part of the treasure might be? No luck. It's not like the guy drew a map or anything. He just jotted down details about the places he went to. <laughs> that and rambling about how awesome he was. Do you think Mariah was right and he hit it on top of old shippy? Oh, God. Don't listen to Mariah, okay? She doesn't know what she's talking about. Think about it. How would he even scale the mountain? He was traveling solo on horseback. I doubt he would have the tools to do it. And even if he did, I'm pretty sure he would have gone on and on about it in his journal. <laughs> That's true. With a puppy dog whine, Marina frowns. Are you sure he didn't mention anything else? Maybe something we didn't catch? I slide the book across the table and over the, the leftover crumbs, stretching out my stiff joints as I rest against the booth. Take a look if you want. My eyes are gonna start bleeding if I read it again. The only things he really mentioned are the rocks and the dikes around it. <laughs> Choir lesbians there. I'm sorry. I had to. Uh, oh. <laughs> Is she meaning the same thing? Marina forces herself to stare down at the plate. The blush from earlier reappearing. Oh? Oh. No, not like that. <laughs> <sighs> I stifle a giggle. Teasing air is gonna be a blast. I mean the rocks that branch out from the mountain. That's what they're called. Huh. It's so simple, but it makes sense. I shoot up and throw down some money. Marina jumps at the sound of the table rattling. What's the matter? <gasps> Did you figure out where it is? Maybe. At least a general area. I march towards the door. The table rattles again as Marina leaps up. She stays behind to straighten it out before scrambling to catch up with me. We're going now? Hell no. We don't have any equipment. But we know someone who does. I shove the door open, the last bastion between refreshing air and burning dry heat. Come on, let's go cash in a favor. Ah. <laughs> it sure was nice for Mariah and her friends to let us use some of their equipment. I was like, it's dark. I can't Only see nothing. After that Joseph guy begged her to. Yeah. I pause to look around. We decide to wait until the nightfall to look around. It's, with some more. <clears throat> it's like an entirely different world. The further you get from the insanity, quiet and calm, the only lights are the stars in the faint glow of the campground. The campers in murder homes flickering in the distance. Ramirina fiddles with the metal de detector's headphones, removing them halfway. Sorry, the beeping's loud. Uh, what was that? Forget it. I'm not playing that game. Just keep listening. Ooh. Oh! Did you find something? I think so. It's over here. I set aside my shovel and throw myself to the ground, clawing at the sand. A shiny speck sticks out of the ground. Frantically, I dig it up. Is it the gold? It's... I scrape harder. It's... Harder? It's... Why does this sound like she's, like, about to climax? <laughs> Finally, I need an earth eight. Now hold it up into the starlight. A soda tab. Sounds about right. Damn it! This is the fifth one! If we find any more, we could start making a curtain out of them. <laughs> I send the tab flying, speeding off over the dikes. <laughs> Maybe we should Sorry. call it a night. I'm sure we can find it once we're fresh in the morning. Nah, that's no good. We can only do it now because Parks and Recreation isn't paying as much attention. 
Though even now, someone's still guarding the area near the campground. The rocks give us some cover, so I don't think we'll be spotted, but we still need to be careful. We'll keep looking for a little while. If we can't find anything, we might want to assume the worst. Her face wretches with hopelessness. That somebody else found it? That it doesn't exist! <laughs> Jeez, it's like you've never even considered that it might not be real. But Mariah! But Mariah! Yeah, yeah, I know. I grab my shovel and swing it back over my shoulder. As we walk, we stay as close to the mountain range as possible. Why are you so gung-ho about this thing anyway? If you're just in it for the cash, there are better ways to make money than dragging yourself around the desert. Oh no, it's nothing like that. It's just... Her voice trails off. It hangs over us, <clears throat> never fully evaporating into the cool night air. It's okay. Don't feel like you have to tell me. We both have things we don't want to talk about. That's becoming very clear. At least Marina doesn't swerve off the road so she can go pout. I just don't want to think about it. All I've been doing for the last month is thinking about it. I almost wish my brain would quit working so I wouldn't have to. So naturally, I take a long, lonely trip with nothing but to think. Amber! It's happening again! Marina stops, hands quivering as she tightens her grip. I swear, if this is another soda tab... I don't think it is. The beeping is really loud and it's vibrating a lot. Wait, it's vibrating? Uh-huh. It feels weird. <laughs> Why does this... Oh. <laughs> the metal detector hovers over the ground between the rock and the sand. I thrust my shovel into the spot the metal scraping against the edge of the dike. <laughs> Planting my foot on the shovel's head, I drive it further into ground using every ounce of my strength to dig. The first load of dirt and sand on clenches from the ground, loosening the earth around it. I throw the load aside and repeat the process. Each time it's a little easier, a little tighter, a little tighter, a little lighter. Bleh. Finally, the shovel strikes something hard. Sending a shocking vibration through my hand and my entire body. Bedrock? I haven't dug that deep. Dropping to my knees, I reach my hands into the hole and brush off the remaining dirt. Marina leans in, the sound of her anxiously swallowing is barely audible over my heavy breathing. My fingers brush against something, I gulp and pull out the hole's contents, a small rotting wooden box. My heart stops. Trembling, I open the box, the leftover dirt falling into my lap. Gold. It... it, it exists? It exists? It exists! Marina yells at the top of her lungs, a yell so loud that it bounces off the mountain, echoing off to the horizon and then back again. Marina has been unleashed. Unleash the Marina! Shh, not so loud. They might hear us. Yeah, and then you're gonna get hounded and uh, beaten up and your treasure stolen. You might want to skirt out of there real fast. She lowers her voice to an excited whisper, channeling her energy into the bouncing up and down. I told you it did. She's right, and despite being proven wrong, I can't help but smile. Here I thought it was going to be some plastic treasure chest with a coupon for chocolate milk inside it or something. Equally shameless and corporate. No keys! <laughs> My only warning is a quick gust of wind. Before I even have a chance to brace for it, I'm engulfed by Marina and her hug. What? And her big bobbles? <laughs> it's real! I told you it was! I told you! I stop for a second, then smile. Yeah, you were right. It's real. Should we tell someone? What do we even do now? Honestly... Tell no one. I'm not sure. It's getting pretty late, though. Let's pack it up for the night. We can think about what to do in the morning. For now, we can just marvel at the fact that it's not bogus. Sound like a plan? It does, but... She takes a deep 
long breath, inhaling all the air around, and maybe even some of mine, then releases it all it's at once. Actually, really real. We said, "Be quiet." Shh, God Maria, damn. Quiet. They're gonna hear us. A thunderous banging wakes me up from a dead sleep, rattling the entire motorhome. Hey! Oh shit. No, you two are in there. You thieves better not still be sleeping. The muffled shout leaks in from the outside, followed by another voice. Okay. It's not even seven. <laughs> Sounds about right. And another voice. You're better off just rolling with it. For her, it may as well be noon. Open up! Or I swear Joe's gonna bust down this door! Wait, what? Gee, I wonder who this could be. I roll out of bed and open the slider, connecting the other rooms. Marina is sitting pressed against the back of the fold-out bed with the sheets over her head. Who do you think it is? <laughs> Take a wild guess. I march over and throw open the door as expected. My three favorite people stand before me. It's about time. Do you have any idea how long we've been out here? A groggy Tess sways from side to side. Just as gentle hands are on, are the only thing preventing her from passing out on the ground. It's funny that you, of all people, would accuse us of theft. What else would you call what happened to my equipment? I don't know. Borrowing? You loaned it to us, remember? Correction. Joe loaned it to you. Same difference? Joe gives his tired smirk and a wave. I was forced to sit idly by and watch you make off with it. That's... Oh my god. I've never seen it. Mariah! You're insufferable. You are... Such an annoying character. I, I wish... I wish you were less annoying. Please. She just pushes me aside and clambers into the motorhome, followed by the other two. Looks like we're coming in. Good morning. Hey, you three! Morning! How are you guys doing? Tired. For what it's worth, we tried stopping her. Mariah stops to the middle of the motorhome, analyzing everything before releasing a loud scoff. So where's my stuff? You don't get out of my RV in five seconds. It'll be shoved up your ass. Don't worry. Woo! About you guys are great. Spicy. Hey Tess, did you hang up your new wind chime? Tess's eyes flicker with interest for all of a second, then return to their obstinate droopy state. Uh huh. Above my bed. What's up with the foldout? You two don't sleep together? Oh. What? <laughs> Told ya. <laughs> they were a so <laughs> They were- How much money did you bet? I wanna know. Grumbling, Mariah pulls a bill from her pocket and slaps it in Joe's hand. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. I called it. Does that mean we get to sleep in tomorrow morning? <laughs> sure does, kiddo. Sure does. The ringleader of the circus returns to inspecting the motorhome, fiddling with the magnets on the fridge. Anyway, give me back my equipment and we'll get out of your hair. Come on, just let them use it. It's the least we can do after tearing apart our car. Mariah's attention turns to the counter, topped with the opened box of stunning gold nuggets from the night before. Why would you leave it on the counter open? Y'all are both dumb, okay? Both very, very dumb. And whose fault was that? What is this? This is this some fake god. This that's not real. It's, don't worry about what it. What is what? <laughs> the thing on the counter. It almost looks like. Oh, that. It's just some that's gold. The piece of the treasure we found. <sighs> ha! Yeah, right. You're kidding. She chuckles. She stops. Sh she's... she's kidding, right? I have a devious thought. And a crack... and crack an equally devious smile. Nope. She's telling the truth. One hundred percent. 
I wrap my arm around Mariah and bring her close. Joseph and Tess shoot each other alarmed glances. I found it last night with your equipment. She stands there, stupefied, like the Harry Potter spell. That's impossible. You're lying. Really now? Hey, Marina, why don't you tell her about it? Sure thing! It started yesterday after we met. Amber looked at the journal again and thought it might be near the smaller rocks behind the bigger one. They're called dikes, I think. Anyway, turns out she was right! Maria, Mariah, bleh, looked down, looks down muttering to herself. But how? Why wouldn't he just hide it on the mountain? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. If he was going back to Missouri... Her voice diminishes until her words are reduced to lip flaps, like a mad scientist trying to figure out a complex equation. She retreats into her own little world. Uh, Mariah? Oh, she's broken. <laughs> a smidge of sympathy buds inside me. I look to Joseph and Tess. Even they look a little shocked. Is she gonna be okay? I honestly don't know. Tess approaches Mariah, who is still whispering nonsense onto her breath. Nonchalantly, Tess hops in front of her, her hand reaching upwards, trying to wave in front of Mariah and bring her back into our world. No response. Tess pulls Mariah's arms skyward, then allows them to flop down to her side. Still no response. <sighs> You know, we've been looking into that treasure since we were kids. Oh, shit. <laughs> Joseph steps up to the counter and stares into the box. Never expected someone else to find it before us. That's more than I can say. Hey. I didn't even think it existed. It'd just be like that sometimes. There's that, too. He sighs, then with a shrug, cracks a smile. Well, good job anyway. You ladies seem cool, so... If it couldn't be us, then at least it was you. You guys want to stick around? We could tell you more about it. He looks at Mariah. Somehow, I don't think that would be healthy for her. Or you. He grabs Mariah by the shoulders and begins pushing her towards the exit. Come on, Mariah. Let's go make you a nice cold michelada. I don't know what that is. You two can keep the equipment. Think of it as an apology gift. Because cheaply made tools, I could get at any hardware store, are of equal value to a car. They're almost out of a motorhome. <laughs> They're almost out of the motorhome when Maria flips and rushes back. Hold on a minute, thief! Ugh, I can't. She looks me straight in the eyes, her expression returning to that of a piercing hawk. You just had beginner's luck. You might have found the first piece. But I promise you, me and my team will find the rest. She extends a hand and smirks. I pause for a moment, then grab it and offer a smirk on my own. You're on. Marina and Joseph both let out a sigh of relief, as if they just witnessed a signing of a peace treaty. Well, guess that takes care of that. Now let's get out of here and go back to a proper base. Are you going to drink until you feel better again, sis? <laughs> Shut up! Didn't mom ever teach you any manners? You always said mom is an airheaded dick who wouldn't know good advice or a good man if it bit her on the butt. Oh, yeah. Sorry for all the trouble, ladies. See you two down the road. Joseph pulls the door closed, and Marina and I stay put, as the bickering of the trio fades into the distance. Were you serious? Hmm? About what? The treasure. You told Mariah that you were gonna find the rest. If you were just being nice and wanna leave now, that's fine too. You've already done a lot for me. She casts her eyes downwards to hide her emotions, but I know better by now. And let you keep all the treasure for yourself? Hell no. Her eyes bounce back. Besides, someone's gotta keep you from getting yourself into trouble. May as well be me. For real? 
But don't you have the festival to go to? Uh, it's still a little while away. I wanted to do some sightseeing anyway. Rena lunches forward. Before I can sidestep, she tackles me with the force of a gold-filled freight train. I don't even try to resist. It's futile in the grace of Marina's lungs. Lungs? In the grace of Marina's hugs. God damn it. Thank you, thank I can't you, thank read. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Actually, I probably owe you an apology. She cocks her head and looks up at me. I look away, my bashful side taking over. Well, you know, I kept saying it wasn't real and stuff. Hey, don't worry about it. Most people wouldn't have given me the time of day. Yeah, but... Relax. Just figure out where we have to go next. I smile. We walk to the front of the RV and take our seats, grabbing the journal from the glove compartment. I flip it open. I glance over the second to the last entry. Key phrases like split path, detour, and acres of identical acred stone throw my brain into the deep end, drowning me in dizzying puzzles before I've even fully read it. Marina peeks over, trying to decipher the entries with me. <laughs> Marina ain't gonna decipher shit. <laughs> A speck of inadequacy crawls up inside me and I quickly flip to the next entry before Marina notices I'm stuck. I deal with that later. For now, we'll just narrow this down. Okay. Uh, just okay. I'm gonna. I I ugh, I'm okay. This I'm not here to like. <laughs> I'm all right. This is a good stopping point. Uh, it's, you know, I didn't mean to go on for so long. Uh. But now that they're going back into the journal entries, it's a lot. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm excited to see more of these ladies falling in love and shit. Yeah, it's the only reason I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah, so uh. I'll, uh, you know, maybe I'll be back for more at some point. So, um, until next time.